Okay, here I am uh, doing another experiment on voltage indicators for the 12 volt sealed lead acid battery. The easiest way to do that is, of course, to use a digital voltmeter like this. This is only a dollar and a half, maybe. And if you attach it to your positive and negative of your battery, uh, it will indicate the voltage. You can install a switch so you can turn it on when you want to know it. And uh, when you release the switch, the meter will uh, turn off. So this would be a good way to do it. And um, if you want to leave the meter on permanently without the switch, it will probably consume between 50 to 60 milliamps depending on the type of meter. So this would be a good way. Some of them are two wires and some of them are three wires. This last few that I bought are three wires and uh, actually I should have paid more attention. Uh, I actually wanted the two wire types. With the two wires you are measuring uh, the voltage of the battery, but you're also using the battery as a power source to power the voltmeter. And they are probably a little bit less accurate that way, because the best way is probably to attach this to a 5 volt power source, and then use the uh, white wire and the black wire to measure the voltage. Uh, of the battery or whatever you want to measure. That would be the, the um, best way to do it. Um, but for convenience, uh, I like the two wire. Um, would, so in effect, the, uh, the voltmeter would be slightly off because it would be under load if you're using the same battery that you're measuring as a power source. And with the three wire, if you want to do that, all you have to do is just twist the white and the red together, and that would be uh, your positive, and black would be your negative, and then uh, that will indicate the voltage of the battery that you are measuring. So it will be off by 0.1 maybe, just a little bit. Uh, but I think it's, it's a good alternative. And then the other way I am exper experimenting with is using uh, sort of like an idiot light, a uh, red LED, to indicate when a battery is at a certain voltage. In this case, uh, sealed lead as a battery would be good when it is at 13.2 volt. So I try it to set it up different ways. Of course, it, there are definitely better ways of doing this, like um, changing the values of the resistor or eliminating part of the circuit that I have here. It will, it will work. Or if you want to measure the or indicate the high limit, say at 13 volt, 13.2 and 12.6, you can have two LED, a green one for 13 volt, uh, red one for um, 12.6 or below. If it, say, if it falls below 12.6, the red light will go off. Uh, if it's above that, the red light will be on, and then when it reaches 13 volt, the green light will be on. You, you can do that but then you will probably need two transistors and two uh, xenodiodes. So right now I'm just trying to see if I can get away with just using one transistor, one xenodial, and just measuring the voltage when it reaches about 13.2 volt. So I can have this idiot light attached to my 12 volt battery permanently and just leave it on because the power consumption for the LED is 
about 20 milliamps when it is uh, at uh, 13.2 volt. If it is less than uh, 12.6, it will consume maybe 10 milliamps. So it's very little power consumption. And um, yeah, so this is the uh, setup for 13 volts. I am using a 13 volt Zena dial. Basically, when the brick, when the voltage reaches 13 volt, like over here, it will start to turn on. That's the breakdown voltage, 13 uh, volt or so. I say 13 volt or so because there's a, a little bit of a voltage or current to turn on the transistor. So you will see the LED start to um, turn on just a little bit at 13 volt and then it gets a little brighter when it reaches this is 13.2 so you know that it is definitely on and when you turn it uh, when you increase the voltage more to 13.6 it will become fully on it'll be a bit brighter but uh, not much so I'm using a adjustable voltage booster to do the setup here and basically below 13 you can still see the middle part of it you can still see the LED would be lit but when it reaches 12.6 it will be completely turned off so if I were to attach this if I see this is completely off I will know that it is 12.6 or below and that would be a time to uh, to charge it. The seal lead as a battery would be ha happiest when it is charged and kept at 13.2 uh, volt. That's why you need a trickle charger to keep it at that voltage. Um, yeah okay let, let's try and do this. This is uh, let me adjust the voltage so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, let me adjust it downward. Now it's just about 13 volt. You see it has dimmed considerably and you can barely see it. If it is dark enough, you see that it is still on. It's not completely, completely dead. Okay, let's turn it down and now I'm at 12.8. It's barely, barely lit, and now at about 12.55, you cannot see that it is pretty much completely off. So if I were to attach it to my battery, I know it would be time to give it a booster charge. Okay, let's turn it increase the voltage so the Zeno dial I'm using is 13 volts so you can see at 13 it starts to turn on and 13.2 is brighter and this is basically what I what I want to uh, indicate at 13.2 that it is I can see the light clearly uh, that means that means the battery is good and even though it is the diode is uh, breakdown voltage is 13 there's a about a 0.6 volt uh, needed to trigger the uh, transistor to turn on fully I read that um, in bipolar transistor it is the current that controls the transistor rather than the voltage so I assume that when it is when the Zener dial breaks down there's some leakage at around 13 volts there's some leakage of the current and when you put in more current at the base the uh, trans the LED would uh, turn on a little brighter and it will become brightest at about 13.6 when um, 
traditional traditionally that's what people talk of uh, 0 0.6 volt you know for the diode to uh, to turn the transistor on completely so 13.6 let's do 13.6 to see what the LED looks like you can see it's a little brighter now it's 13.6 and this is a circuit here I am using like a uh, variable resistor here I'm using two resistors here uh, 2.3k for R1 and variable resistor 5k here for R2 and the I put the LED at the emitter side and I put a little resistor here 3.3k um, to protect the red LED and I have a 2N4401 NPN transistors you can experiment with the different uh, value resistor I use a variable resistor here so I could adjust a little bit the um, brightness of the LED so conceivably I can just add this to my 12 volt and uh, it will be an alternative to the digital LED and it will just be a simple idiot light if you see it glowing then your battery is good if you don't see it glowing then it's uh, not that good 